All right, now we're going to go into the fencing grip. What I like about the fencing grip is it adds about three inches to your total reach. Okay, it's a favorite of many people. A lot of people really do not like the reverse grip. The fencing grip you're going to find is very popular. So when he comes in, he can come in at about three different angles. All right, he's going to come in either at about 10 or 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, or he's going to thrust it in. Okay, so when he comes in, I'm going to pass him, just like we did with the knife tap. And then I'm going to bring it right to my left hand. I don't want to just take a chance that it's going to end up there. I kind of funnel it right to my left hand. I'm going to strip with my right forearm, and I hold the pad of the thumb with my left hand. Again, one. And that's the first one. Okay, again, it's up. And then I'm going to strip right here. My first throw. Okay. I turn them around over here. So we go from one, goes right to the right forearm. This doesn't feel good. If it feels like it's got a really good grip on it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade hands and I'm going to bring it low. Now I use my left forearm and I'm still grabbing the pad of the thumb. I use my left forearm and I'm going to push it out. Two. Okay, if number two feels like it's really tight in there, just kind of like pull on the wrist and push it out. One, two, this feels tight, it's not going to come. So what I want to do now is I'm going to drag down, I want to lift up, and then I'm going to feed this right back in. That's my number three. Again, I go one, two. Drag down, lift up, three. Okay, I take it on the first one, we go to 12 o'clock. Doesn't feel like it's gonna go, I turn it down. I take it to six o'clock, still doesn't feel like it's gonna go. Drag down, pick it up, feed it back. One, two, drag, lift, three. Okay, now. He goes one, two, three. The next one in the series is we're going to bring it right back down to where it's six o'clock at the blade. And this is my number four strip with the web of my hand, palm up. I'm going to strip up right here and I'm going to keep the knife. Okay, so it's going to go up. one, two, drag down, lift up, get back into three. I'm going to peel it, or I'm going to peel it out, palm up. Down again. We're going to go to number one. I'm going to trade hands. Go to number two. Drag it down. I lift it up. Number three. Back to six o'clock. Number four. And I put the knife at about three o'clock. And this is going to be my number five. The number five is going to kind of just push it out here. And then I'm just going to go to the takedown right here. Okay. So now he comes in again. I'm just going to go right to the number five. All right, this is my number five. It's at about three o'clock. My number one was at 12. The number five is at three. So now the number six is going to come in. If the number five doesn't feel good, right here, if he's got a good grip, it's not going to come out. I bring it over right here to number six, and I push it out. Okay? So we'll go through all six. One. Two. Drag down, lift up, three. Four, the web of the hand. Five, right about three o'clock. Six is about 10 o'clock. 
Okay, now, this feels strong. The number seven is going to be with the web of my hand, palm down. I'm going to peel it out right here. I can circle in, and then go right back into this lock again. Again, one, two. Each time I'm grabbing the pad of the thumb. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. This is with the web of the hand. If for some reason there is no butt of the knife there, or if there is a butt and my, knife, my hand slips over it, I want to leave my right hand right where it's at. And I'm going to jump my left hand over and grab the outside of his wrist. Slide down. This is number eight. Okay. okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. All right. When the knife comes from the back hand, this is where you're going to use your number eight. Okay, now we're going to do 9 through 12 on our 12 strips. All right, back to 1 again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is 9. 9 is just going to pull it out. All right, so again, once I go from 7, I pressure it down, I grab number 8. 8 won't go. Just kind of grab the butt of the knife right here and just pull it out. Okay, that's number nine. If number nine doesn't feel any good, say like I can't get it, maybe there's not enough butt there. Maybe it's in a little bit, it just won't come out. I bring it up, this is number 10. Number 10 just goes. And that's the strip on number 10. Nine, ten, right there is the strip. So again, you go nine, kind of peels it out. If you can't get it here, just kind of bring the knife up. It's going to be pointed about three o'clock, and then you strip right there. Okay, it's not a really good, real good lock. Hamilton could twist out of it. He could twist and get away from me, okay? So when he twists, I grab it and I bring it down. Now I want to re-grab with my left hand and I grab the pad. Put my elbow about right on top of his elbow, and then I grab the flat of the blade with my hand, and I just pull it out now when I hit the kidney. Okay? Make sure you grab the flat of the blade. Don't grab the blade. Grab the flat. Pull it out, and then hit the kidney. Again, right here, I'm at number, number eight. This is number nine, pulls back. Number ten is going to be right here. Okay? Push it, it won't go. He starts to twist away, I re-grab it with my right hand. Kind of like bring it down, re-grab with your left hand, put your left elbow, I mean your right elbow over, and then pull out and hit the kidney. That's number 11. Number 12 is going to be from the number 8, 9, 10, he twists out. I go for the number 11, it doesn't feel good. So I kind of just twist it over and I push out number 12. Okay? 
Last time. Eight, nine, ten. You kind of twist out and I go with it. Re-grab it. Put my elbow over. This is my number 11. Number 12, I just use my right thumb and I just peel it out. Okay, obviously we're not going to go through every single one of these locks. All right, one, two, I don't know, I don't know. What you're learning this for is just, just to flow through one lock to the other. I don't know where I'm going to accept this. If he comes at me right here, look, oh, come number four. Maybe number five is going to be. Okay? If he comes here with the eight, maybe I'll go here and then maybe into the nine. You don't know where you're going to pick the knife up, so you're going to have to learn to accept it from wherever it's at. And that's why we do this one to 12 flow. One to 12 is going to teach me how to just go from one lock to the next. All right, I'm going to go to speed. Now, I cannot stress the urgency of knowing left and right hand. So if he goes, you have to know it on both sides. 